The word of God is your daily bread. Eat it daily and grow strong in the spirit. Luke 11 3. Give us day by day our daily bread. The word of God is Jesus. Therefore, the spiritual bread you are eating when you study the word is Jesus. John 6 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Nobody can study scripture on your behalf. Every member of the body of Christ is individually required to study and be skilled in the word. You are only a babe in the word when you first come to Christ. Afterwards, God expects you to grow in his word. This has nothing to do with how old you are in real life, so your real age does not apply here. What I'm discussing is a spiritual principle. You should not stay a babe, but are supposed to grow and reach maturity in the faith. 1 Peter 2.2 2. As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. 2 Peter 3.18 But grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Once you reach maturity in the faith, you are supposed to stay at that level by continuous discipline, diligent study of the word, so that you do not regress back to being a babe. That's why babes need everyone to explain everything to them. 1 Corinthians 3, 1-2 And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. The truth is that you don't actually need anyone to teach you the word. The Holy Spirit himself will always teach you. Simply humble yourself and submit to him. People are too quick to run to others to teach them the word or help them understand it. Whether it is searching online for the meaning of a Bible passage or searching for articles, videos, commentaries, etc. to explain a book or passage to you. Chill on that. Instead, always go to God first in prayer and be willing to wait humbly and patiently by faith for His Holy Spirit to teach you all things about His Word. 1 John 2.27 But the anointing which ye have received of Him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in Him. That way, the devil cannot use any so-called quote-unquote Christian who is actually spiritually weak and has no discernment nor sound understanding of biblical doctrines or an outright wolf in sheep's clothing to seduce and deceive you with doctrines of demons because you are skilled with the word yourself. 1 Timothy 4 2 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience served with a hot iron. Thus you will very easily discern the spirit of truth from the spirit of error once you compare their doctrines in light of what the scriptures actually say with the understanding given to you by the Holy Spirit. Like I said in a previous post about letting the Holy Spirit teach you, this of course does not mean that another believer or pastor, teacher, scholar or whoever else in the faith cannot teach you. It is more so that you do not need them to teach you. When you have God, the truth is you have everything. He is a teacher, a healer, a provider, everything. Quote from the previous post I made of which I'll pin the link in the comment section below. Progress from milk to the meat of the word, from babe to maturity, and continuous growth is expected of every believer in Christ. Our spiritual growth never stops or ends until death or the day of redemption, rapture. Don't be easy prey for the devil by being or staying spiritually weak. It is imperative that you diligently and continuously study the word for yourself, relying on the Holy Spirit to teach and guide you. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. John 16.13 Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Hebrews 5, 12 to 14. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. 
but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Ephesians 4, 14 to 11 that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together, and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Love you all. God bless you all.